Arcata, population 16,000. And right now we're in the food co-op. This is a food co-op. 10,000 members. So in the town of 16,000 where you have 10,000 being members, it's, it's pretty impressive. I mean, right now we're in what, what would be the equivalent of a Safeway or a Metro, size-wise. And variety-wise, right? Yeah, and variety-wise. So much variety. But you would see, you know, all of these certified organic, cage-free, free-range, like, look how many varieties of free-range eggs there are. Yeah. So here we have some peanut butter granola bars. Uh, three grams of fat, 80 calories per bar, whatever. The ingredients, the first ingredient is organic honey. <laughs> Probably if you pick up, you know, some granola bars at another grocery store, your, your first ingredient is going to be some type of glucose or sugar. Um, organic rolled oats, roasted peanuts, brown rice crisps, um, canola oil, peanut butter, natural flavors, and pure barley. <laughs> There's no like monoglithos rights. <laughs> yeah, no hard words to pronounce. Boom, that's Just, our first pick right there. Yeah. The main reason that we carry um, so many different kinds of um, conventional and then organic is because we have 10,100 members. And so that allows um, everybody to shop. We're a community co op. So what we're trying to do is allow everybody to be involved with the co-op so we're not completely a health food store we're That's not right. completely we're a community store so there actually are some people who want Pepperidge Farms and there are some people who want Numino's and sad but true there are some people who want Kellogg's although if I had it my way <laughs> but do you find getting them here at least you're getting them here, they have the option of getting these things, the thing and then is, they start seeing the, right. the other that's, options. That's, I think that's a gentler approach to education. Instead yeah. of just imposing my belief system on someone, they're going to very well be able to look at Kellogg's and right above them and see familiar organic and say, wait a minute, you can get a $1.99 organic, <laughs> and you're paying five twenty nine for non-organic. So we really show... Um, that there are real viable differences. How are you able to do that price-wise? Uh, what we've done is in um, uh, many areas of the co-op world, we began to suffer from a lot of competition because there's more organics in, um, in uh, regular food stores like Safeway and stuff. So co-ops got together and they formed a uh, co-op buying advantage. We call it, in this area, we call it the Cap West program. So we have a cooperative advantage program. We buy together. So, so all the co-ops in California, yeah. right, all the co-ops in California buy together. So this Paul Newman line is hilarious, because how often do you have, you know, like, organic variety of treats with sort of political stories on the back? Really? Yeah, they're, they're fun, like, they just, they're, they're sort of written as narratives, but they convey these real sort of fundamental political messages about, a lot of it about corporatization of either food production or society in general. Local brewery, local brewery, local brewery, local brewery. Not local, but good. Um, corporate, but still good. Organic. Um, yeah, we actually have organic beer. Where's our organic beer, Ashley? It's a number of different types. We have the Woolovers, which is... Um, Ashley, do the beer. Oh, I can do the beer. Yeah, Ashley <laughs> can do the beer. All of, uh, first of all, we have all of our locals here. So, uh, we have this out in Mad River, which is uh, about 10 minutes east of here in Blue Lake. This one's Fortuna, so that's about half an hour south of here. We try to tell you where they came from. And uh, we're pretty spoiled here. We wait. People will come in and start saying, you know, when are the local peaches going to get here? And you all know. So these are all just pretty much uh, heaven on earth for uh, the local organic fair. Our local organic dairy is glass, and it's all recyclable. We, You pay a $1.25 deposit, and you bring the bottle back, and you get the deposit back, and they reuse the bottles like how we used to do it a long time ago. So we try to do that as much as we can. Because the co-op started really making a market for the local farmers. Now, 15, 20 years later, you can go to Safeway and buy local lettuce. And, and that's unheard of in a town of this size. Yeah, that's, a, that's our goal. Is everyone so it's should affecting, be organic. So it's, it's affecting other grocery stores as well? Yeah. So what our goal is, is to have a sustainable community. Yeah. And if we grow, if we grow here, we buy here, we eat here, we're keeping everything kind of here. Then, then it encourages more growth in the community.